When I first went into recovery, I felt like I'd woken up. It was hard work, recovery always is. It was confronting, terrifying, overwhelming. But more than any of those things, it was amazing, euphoric. I was awake. After being numb for six years, a kind of numb which starts to feel normal after a while. The kind of numb you believe you can live with, which dulls the fine edges of joy, a numbness you start to accept. I was numb for six years because of my eating disorder. That numbness kept me safe from all the horrible feelings I believed I couldn't handle. Consequently, I didn't feel much of anything good either. I wasn't excited about my future. I didn't find joy in anything I did or anyone I was with. All I did for all that time was put one foot in front of the other and I'd tell myself, this is just what happens to everyone as they get older. Life loses its colour. Music becomes muted. You run out of things to look forward to. I remember my psychologist telling me that just wasn't the case. I didn't have to live there. She turned on a torch and guided me out and I remember colour coming back and the emptiness filling up and I remember crying every day for a year. Not because I was sad, but because I was so grateful to feel joy and hope. I've gone through that again this year. Not recovery, but waking up again. I'm sure I'm not the only one after the last two years who might feel that way. That's where I've been the last couple of months, just enjoying my life, every tiny moment of it. Overwhelmed at times with how calm and happy and grateful I feel. Like so many of us, life really knocked me around for a couple of years. I eventually learned to stay in the prepared for disaster position, just waiting for something else to happen, another loss, another catastrophe, and that numbness came back. I believed again, after all I've been through, everything which has taught me that I was probably wrong, that I would never feel true joy or hope again. That's just what happens to people who lose their most important people. I'd lived under that creeping cloud before and I didn't recognise it. That feeling is so insidious, it can convince you that this time it's right, that life will not get better. It's wrong. Thank you.